Yeah. Okay. So um, just like, what's your name and tell us what kind of like music and shit you play. My name is Jason McDonald. We go by uh, DJ Snug. Uh, I've been in the electronic scene since I was about 19, so about 13 years now, and just enjoy electronic music and mixing beats. <laughs> right on, right. That's about it, man. Just gonna. Creations. So I want to stick these all over and kind of make it like a earthy kind of cloud feel. So I'm not quite sure yet, but I just you know, start painting and go with it. <laughs> so for for video's sake, state your name. I'm Christine Jaguer. <laughs> uh, everyone calls me Christine, though. You had to pigeonhole your art. What would you What would you call it? Oh, pigeonhole it. Well, <laughs> uh, my name, like, I don't know, found art, awkward, I don't know, abstract, whatever. I don't have a way to classify it. Like, I just do whatever. Like, I don't know how to <laughs> describe it exactly. So. Do you like movies? I mean, I have a feeling you probably do. But. <laughs> yeah. That's good. What kind? Um, I don't know. I don't really like a lot of modern day American cinema. What's up? We're coming to intrude, if you don't oh, mind. I don't mean to, I mean to impose. No, it's okay. Um, what we're doing is... Yeah, def definitely. Definitely introduce first. So what's your name, man? Alright, my name is Wyatt Todd. Uh, from here. I've lived here my whole life. How would you say that you're a What sort of message are you trying to get out through your life? Um, it's just realism. It's just everyday life, pretty much. Pretty much my, all my life. That's what I'm trying to express. What exactly do you promote? Um, surfing. Surfing. How do you feel about representing bringing people together like this? Uh, I think it's really good. We haven't had one of these in a while, to tell you the truth. And it's really good to get everybody and get their art together, look at other people's ideas, look at their techniques as they're painting. And it's really good, like vibrations here with all the music and all that. It's real chill. Is there anything you'd like to see represented uh, achieved through this? Um, just people getting their artwork out there, getting it seen, getting it out there. Out there. <laughs> hey, could we pause? My name is Wyatt Top. <laughs> My name is Wyatt Todd, and I'm represented. A couple of those. Could you like my URL or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I don't know my URL. So whatever your MySpace name is, you know how to write my URL. Or just, just a documentary-esque right. thing for this event, and if it's cool, we wanted to ask you some questions. That's a good idea. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, this is Lucian. Um, yeah. Lucian is asking cool the interviewer dude, so you just do your thing and I'm not here. Hey, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> Shoot. We could uh, start with your name. Palmer Todd. Yeah. How are you represented? How am I? I didn't know I was until just now. <laughs> What exactly do you represent? What do I represent? Um, just the uh, just the normal stuff, you know. Just um, what an odd question. <laughs> what What do you promote? I'm gonna have to think work? about that. Yeah, I promote. It's an even tougher one. We get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> how about uh? What message are you trying to get out through your art? What message am I trying to get out through your art? Well, with art, people don't realize you can do pretty much whatever you want. It's all, it's all free. Like, uh, you don't have to, you know, just do what everyone else is doing. Like, back then, they just, they just did realism. That's all they did. And then, turn of the century, they, had, there was movements. You know, you just you had a lot of styles that just one type of style, but really you can just mix it all together, do whatever your heart feels, and you know, that's what you should do, I think. How do you feel about representing bringing people together like this? Well, it's a great idea. We haven't had anything at all like this in Myrtle Beach. 
for a long time, really, a couple of years, since there was anything at all similar. But I think it's um, something we need here. Is there anything you'd like to see represented, do or achieve through this? I don't know, y'all. Just, just do your own thing. Just, um, I, I think we'll figure it out as we go. No specific ideas for improvement? <laughs> we'll think of something. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, cool. And one more thing, like we're doing this thing where like we have them like say their name and be like, I am represented. It's for the uh, represented site. All right. If you could just do that, that'd be sweet. All right. I'm Palmer Todd, and I'm represented. Excellent. Which one? <laughs> there you go, brother. Alright. Alright, now Luke's gonna ask some questions. And I'm, right. not, I'm not here. Okay. He's the man. Okay. Alright, All right, man, why don't we start off with introducing yourself? I'm sorry? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, what's up? I'm Nate Salamis. Let's we'll start it all over again. Alright, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? How's it going? I am Nate Salamis. Nathan Salamis. I'm from Pennsylvania. How exactly are you represented? I am represented. <laughs> uh, can you can you describe some more? I don't know. Represented as in. That's a tough question. Yeah, that is a tough <laughs> question. I don't know. And I got nothing. What do you promote? What do I promote? I promote safe sex <laughs> and drinking lots of alcohol. Um, <laughs> what, uh, Am I fucking this up? No, you're doing <laughs> a great we're, job. We're good, <laughs> All right. What, what <clears throat> message would you say you're trying to portray through your okay. art? Okay, through my art, what I'm trying to portray? Well, basically, I think a lot of people take art, or I like to call it fart, uh, way too seriously, and I like to make joke of artwork and make it not so serious, basically, through my artwork. Yeah. Where did you come up with the, with the term fart? Fart? <laughs> you know, the term fart, that. well, it's a funny word. I didn't come up with myself. I think uh, Albert Einstein came up with it, pretty sure, but yeah, I didn't, I think it's just a funny word. I use it like basically jokingly. I take it seriously for the most part, but you can't take things way too seriously or just it it's lame. Yeah. Right. Um, how do you feel about representing bringing people together like this? <clears throat> well, I think this is awesome. Myrtle Beach has basically zero uh, culture whatsoever. So this is pretty rad actually bringing all these people here. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Uh, is there anything that you could suggest or you'd like to see represented do? Um, I don't know. This is the, I guess this is our first thing, so we'll see how the night goes. And yeah, it looks pretty rad already. So I'm digging it. No ideas for the future? No, not really. Uh, no, it's awesome so far. I mean, them putting this together for free, like that's incredible. I think it's really cool. Had all these people come here. So you'd like to see things stay free? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, even if it's not free, but the donations is clutch. I'm uh, donating stuff to my friend's foundation, so yeah. Stuff's good, man. Yeah, stuff is great. Stuff is great. Yeah. All right, and lastly, like we're doing this thing where it's like, um, you basically say your name and say, I am represented. It's okay. for their site. <laughs> gotta go now? Yeah, you got it. All right. I am Nathan Salamis, and I am represented. <laughs> Let me get a little drunk. I'm, I'm sober. Easy, All right. questions. Easy questions. I don't know the answer to these questions though. What's five plus five? Twenty-two. It's a good start. Are you ready? All right. What's up? Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Uh, Jeff, aka Wicked, DJ Wicked. That's me. <laughs> um, how would you say that you're represented? Uh, tonight I'll be represented, representing the dubstep. Is what I'll be representing. Dubstep's where it's at. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah. So. Um. What sort of uh, message do you try to get out through your music? I just like people to have a good time. You know, pretty much. Just have a good time. Feel the vibes. You know, that's about it. Um, how do you feel about representing bringing people together like this? I think it's, a, I think it's an awesome, awesome idea. Awesome show. And hopefully everybody's going to have a good time.
Um, is there anything you'd like to see represented do or get out of this in the future? What was that? Is there anything you'd like to see represented achieve um, in this sort of event? I don't just bring people together, you know, just unite, unite people. Some more of this? Yeah, yeah more, more of this. specific ideas? I don't know. I really don't know. We might catch you again later. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My name is Olivia Thompson. How would you say that you are represented? DIY. Would you like to elaborate on that? Um, or explain what DIY is. Okay, DIY is something, it's uh, doing artwork by just doing it yourself and not going out and like buying things. Um, it's kind of just doing your own thing however you want to do it. Um, What exactly uh, do you do when you do your art? Um, well, this is some of my studio art back here. I do a lot of mixed media, and I have necklaces hanging up over here, and scarves. I do a lot of different types of art, um, just anything and everything, pretty much. Is there a certain message you try to get out through your art? Well, right now I'm working on a senior exhibition of mastery, and it's a uh, 21st century addictions and obsessions. So that's kind of like what I'm working on right now. Um, how do you feel about represented bringing people together like this? Um, I think it's a little different because I'm really used to art shows that are already pre-organized and they're kind of like, hey, here's your space, here's what you're given, just work with this. Um, it's kind of different just coming into a place where you can do absolutely whatever. So it's kind of hard to get to use, get used to, but I think I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Is there any ideas you have for the future? Anything you'd like to see happen? With represented? Yeah. Um, maybe whoever the guy who organized this, I would like to see who he is, because I know how he says that this is everyone's event, but I think that, I think he should show himself <laughs> and let us know who he is. We all feel the same. Okay. Um, who has been emailing us? That's yeah, who is this? Day. Um, that's all I got. That's all you got? Okay, well, what's your name? Lucian. Lucian? Yes. You're going to paint a picture on my window. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, cool. I'm Olivia and I am represented. What's your name? Sage. Where are you from? I'm from here. I'm local, Myrtle Beach. How would you say that you are represented? How would I say that I'm represented? In the community? Or in general? How would you say you're representing yourself here this evening? Well, I think I'm representing my artistic and creative side because I'm sort of showing like us handmade sculptures, jewelry, kind of doing the artistic thing with painting as well. And um, a lot of my artwork has some underlying meaning like, yeah, I have jewelry, but they're all made out of discarded things, things that people don't want anymore. And taking trash and refuge and things people throw away and turning it into something beautiful again. Um, I don't know, I just think taking what's left behind and turning it into something new is just what life's about. Like, rise up from the ashes like a phoenix, I guess. If that makes any sense. It does. It does. Um, how do you feel about represented bringing people together like this? I think it's a really cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was really excited about it the first time I heard about yeah. it. I wanted to get yeah. part of it, help out, do anything I could. Because Myrtle Beach, as a scene, you know, we do have some art, cool art venues, but we also have a lot of those venues that are like the seagull flying over sunset hotel condo paintings. So it's nice to sort of have another place to go, a nice event where people can come together and. Maybe if they're not coming for the art, come for the people, come for the music, come for the atmosphere. So. Is there anything you'd like to see represented do in the future? Another one of these. Any ideas? Just, um, so far, so good. I don't know. Maybe a little more prepared. Maybe um, more wall space would be good. But so far, just the whole do it yourself and bring it all together ideas is really great. And the, uh, the question of the day, do you know who's been emailing all of us? Corey. 
what I think is he's a local DJ. I think he's a local DJ, and it's a suspicion that I have. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure one of the dudes, if there's more than one, Corey, local DJ, is him. Thank you for the intel. Um, he's going to ask you to. Well, I can ask you to do it. Yes, if you could just, yes. Yeah, so yeah. if, if you could just look into the camera and say, "Hi, I'm I'm represented." Okay. Hi, I'm represented. No, your name is Oh. Like, Hi, so, I'm Sage. Yeah. And I'm represented. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sage, and I'm represented. That was the best one yet. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of like, if you can see inside the plastic, it's filled with love letters, forgotten assignments, trash, napkins, pine straw, and it's just wrapped up with gar garbage bags, tape, spray paint. Um, it's sort of the idea that runs again with what people throw away can be reused, what you leave behind can be molded into something new. And the same goes for my jewelry, like, um, there's, I make handmade resin gems, this one has a common black beetle in it. And I use guinea fowl bones, which are just like um, a type of sort of African chicken, but people don't, you know, people don't use the bones, I guess. They just sort of throw it away. Um, nothing's killed for the jewelry, but there's natural coral, seahorses. I just like the idea of reuse, pull it together. I don't know. I'm not positive. And I'll figure out how to uh, show my artwork. I'm thinking maybe this thing. That's good. I like this. Well, thanks for interviewing me. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for taking the time out. I just realized I didn't shoot any of this stuff, and that would be terrible. Oh, that's not really her stuff. That's, um, that's her friends. So oh, really? That's, that's hers? Stuff. Wow, thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna go find a stick. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> like, it's starting to work out. I thought I was gonna have to go in and nine. So, dude, how's it going, man? Good. Good to see you, man. That's the guy. Before you throw something on it, isn't there? Video! <laughs> hey, hey, is one of those pages blank? Yes, sir. Can I have it? You can have it. Thank you. Thank that was you. even a clean tear. Find me a stick, oh interviewer. Oh, we're getting a stick. I have electrical tape. And Kitties. Do we want, we want some bees, that's all right. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Look at these guys up here. These guys are begging to be broken. No, no. I this is that the one? All right. So hold it like that. Or is that a little too corny? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if we broke off some of the top ones so it wasn't in their face when they talked. Like these. Hey, you know what? <laughs> no, let's just get stuck. Um, turn this up a little bit. I like it. Alright. Hey. Um, let's see. Got some coil wire. We could wire nut it to it. <laughs> I left it in my tool bag. But you know what? Take a little piece of wire. How are you going? Pretty good. Yeah? Uh, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hey, write down your name. Oh, okay. Let me write it down for you. It's kind of tough. What? Have you seen our microphone? Huh? We made we made a microphone. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of bar marker. You're, you're next, though. For what? You, have five you missed out on the good yeah, microphone. but uh, oh, let cool. me, I'll be right back. Let me go. Hey, but he's painting. No, you're... Ariel, okay. Yes. Be right back. I'm still bad with names. It's alright. Don't. 
It's on video. I'm bad with names. What do you want? Security, security and now. DJ inside. What's your name, man? <laughs> Jason. I saw you the other night at the bar. Which one? Uh, Madison? No. Uh, AJ? Uh, uh, the, bar, the bartender. <laughs> the bartender dude. Uh, you're the bartender dude? Hell no. <laughs> I was gonna say, you don't look like the bartender. He had a broken hand. Yeah, I know. And I was giving him a whole bunch of hell. Like, do I have to hold it far oh. apart? Like, no, no, no. It's good. Or do I? You can hold it where it's comfortable. I mean, yeah. So, uh, I know, like, it's all good. Okay, what Are you do ready? What do I do? Just, uh, introduce yourself. Like, how? Say, hi, my name is, I'm from, hi. fill in the blanks. Okay. <laughs> Just, all right. Whenever you're ready. Hey, uh, do I look at the camera? Okay. <laughs> Either way. Hey, one. uh, I'm Christine, uh, Jaguar, or Jaguar. Proper. I'm at the represented like little get together here. We have a bunch of musicians. I'm doing some live art during uh, the musical performances. Uh, I'm influenced by Jackson Pollock, so when I hear music, I get really into painting and just love to splatter and swirl and fling paint all over the place. So this is exactly like, the kind of setting I need, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. A bunch of my friends. I know everyone here. So. Good time, a bunch of other artists. Just decided to do some live painting. Man. Anytime I get a chance to paint, it's good for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Man. How would uh... I can answer all the questions? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna ask all the questions anyway. Okay. Um, how would you say that you're represented besides what you just said? Well, just my personality, you know? Like, people know me. And, like, they know me because of, I'm just quirky and weird, I guess. I mean, that's what people tell me about myself. You know, they know me as, yeah, that's Christine. She's a little insane, you know, quirky, but it's her. Represented by my different art and stuff, so. Is there any specific message you try to get through in your art? Just be yourself, you know? Like, it's just... You can express so much within yourself uh, as long as you know and are able to get it out to let other people see it. So I think that like once you reach deep enough within yourself and you're able to show who you are on the inside, that's you know beautiful. And I just try to convey that to my viewers. And also stuff kind of on the dark, creepy side. People might think of morbid. Like uh, just try to bring it out so it's more of an art less than of a morbid kind of thing. Um, how do you feel about representing bringing people together? I couldn't, uh, I can't express how amazing I think it is. We're, we're having a great turnout so far. You know, there's so many different people from different styles of art, to different styles of music, different, you know, professions and everything, and it's just incredible. I love it. Like, anytime I can get together with a bunch of people that are on similar wavelength as I am mentally, it just, it feeds your personal creativity. So I really like that aspect of it. Is there anything you'd like to see them accomplish in the future, future events, or any way you'd like to see it happen? I'd like to see this become more prevalent, you know, more, you know, happen more than it is, because, you know, this area is pretty dead. And if we can get this happening even more, then it'll bring a, a more vivid life. Uh, to Myrtle Beach, it'll give everybody a new idea of what art really is, you know, and I think once we can get that done, then uh, being able to maybe get a bunch of artists together and paint a part of Myrtle Beach's wall that is completely bang, blank and run down and crumbling, if we can paint that and turn it to a masterpiece, they'll say something locally about people, so, like the visitors here. Yeah, you guys, uh, keep beer inside. Good looking out. Oh, um, I just thought this right now. Um, do you, I, I guess you know a lot of people here. Like, can, is there anything you can say, like, about the different types of art here? Like, or... Um, it's hard to speak for other people, but, like, when I get together with all these people, like, 
I'm trying to think of how to say it in words. Like, even though we're all so different with our styles and our genres, we all have this big inner feeling to just bring people together and to just create and inspire each other, you know? And even though someone maybe plays rap versus someone who does ambient, you know, kind of instrumental, we still are here to support each other and feel each other's creativity to make this whole gathering just a very, very uh, unique experience for us. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. And if you could, uh, if you could just say hi, hi, hi. But my name's not Lucian. Do you want me to say I'm Lucian? Yeah, you can if you want. But you go back on her now. I'm Lucian. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. Fill in the blank. I am blank. I am Christine Marie Jaguer. Uh, a lot of people call me AKA Dumpster Monkey. So. <laughs> That's me. And I am represented. And I am represented. It's all whited out. People are about to walk up in here and just like go off, just set it off, you know what I'm saying? Just party. We are proud, we are proud, you know what I'm saying? Put the mirror in your cup, the basket. No, 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 it's a chrome basket, motherfucker. Oh, shit. And I got a ghetto blaster on there. I got a ghetto blaster. And I got the playlist on my iPod, of course, because I'm a modern lady. Oh, I was going to say, do you have the playing card and the spokes going to the I try to come up with the bicycle playlist, right? Bicycle playlist? The but first one. What's the first one going to be? There's over a million songs about bicycles. Think about it. Everybody says Queen, right? First of all, there's, the list can go on forever. That's all I'm going to give you. Bicycles. That's it. Bicycles. <laughs> bicycles. I got a Gary. Nothing, <laughs> nothing about the event? We just Got-a. get bicycles? Uh, the event is important, but bicycles are more important. <laughs> can you elaborate on how the event is important a little bit? Um, this event is important because I feel like I'm writing to my English teacher right now. Um, Correct sentences, please. Uh, <laughs> proper grammar, too, because I'm terrible at that. <laughs> Articulation, diction, it's important. Diction, all right, I'll give you diction. Pronounce this is something. <laughs> dot the I's across the T's. And you can pronounce them from Vermont. I am from Vermont, but I've southern assimilated. <laughs> but the future is based on youth. And if our youth 
isn't surviving, if our youth is in peril, then maybe our future is in peril. So that's all I have. Future is youth. <laughs> and this is the future, maybe. <laughs> for the record. For the record. Don't, 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 don't hide next to me. But uh, for the record, what's your name? Uh, Ariel Tier. Okay. How would how would you say that you're represented here today? Um, and elsewhere. Today and elsewhere. By my friends and by ideas moving forward. Okay. Um, what exactly? How did we jump right into this? Because you stopped <laughs> rambling, so now I'm asking okay. real questions. Uh, if you want to ramble again, I'll shut up. Okay. Continue on. Okay. <laughs> what do you um, what what do you promote? What do you uh, I promote good ideas, healthy ways of thinking, and ways that change the future in a positive way. And not just positivity that is the latest and greatest, because we see so much of that in our you know, what's the latest and greatest, what's, what's hip, what's hipster, what's indie, what's this, what's cool, what's fad, what's new, what's trendy. We see so much of that crap from day to day. But a few of these ideas you can pick out, just one by one, and those are the good ones. Keep Which those. ones do you like in particular? Which ones do I like in particular? Caring for the environment. Um, that's what something. Do you do for the what do I do for the environment? Not enough. Honestly, not enough. There's so much more that I could do. I still eat junk food, um, but I do little things personally, and I'm not one to spout on about it because anyone has that friend that's like, oh, I'm, you know, whatever. I do this for blah blah blah. It's a personal choice within, and once you have that personal choice within you assured, you don't need to tell anybody because you're happy enough doing it on your own. So I'll tell you one small thing. I go to gas stations, I don't ask for, if they try to bag something up, no plastic bags. Except apparently on beer. <laughs> they have to give it to you on alcohol. That's what they which say. I just learned. I don't but for anything else, Kara, I try to bring my own bags around. I reuse my own bags. I still drive a car, which I'm regretful about, but maybe one day I'll just be on my bicycle. <laughs> um. <laughs> What, uh, is there any specific message you try to get out in your art? Um, By yourself or what you feel about life? Identity. I think my work is always a balance between the subjective and the universal. Like, I'm, you know, it's cliche and trite, maybe, and all art is in a way, <laughs> but maybe this idea of this is a gray area and I'm living in it, so I'm in the gray area, this is what it looks like. This is earth, this is heaven and hell, this is the gray area. Maybe it's spiritual, maybe it's just colors, black, white, and gray. Maybe it's one, two, three. So. <laughs> um, how do you feel about represented doing what they're doing, bringing people together like this? I think it's amazing. Um, I don't think it's new. I think it's new for Myrtle Beach, where uh, social networking sites are something specific to our generation, where uh, it's this weird element where people almost live their identities just through the internet. And that's something that our parents and our parents' parents won't understand. But it's something remarkable to our generation, where uh, what what are the bulk of my friends doing? Okay, I'm gonna go there. So, at times it's good for planning, at times you can kind of see what's going on. I feel like I always have access to this knowledge, but with that constant access to this knowledge, there's this problem of, I feel like I'm bombarded by it, where the first time I stepped out into Times Square in New York City, it was just billboards everywhere, and it was like, I've heard other people say this before, and these words aren't my own. Nothing is my own, but it, it's um, <laughs> visual overstimulation, where I see so much of it, and it's just like that. But as far as represent it, it's a great thing. I'm glad to see people together, 
for a good thing, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to see Representative do next time or in the future, or any ideas? I want to see Representative do more of this. Um, I want it to be bigger and better because I think Representative can do bigger and better. Um, I want to see crazy lights, crazy dancers, crazy people, crazy artists, crazy music, crazy good things. It's, mm. That's the bulk of it. <laughs> okay. Um, and lastly, if you could, I'm having trouble with this, um, say, hi, I'm, and then say your name, and then say, I'm representing. So like, it would be, hi, I'm Lucian. Oh, is this I'm the universal part to our movie? Because I just did the subjective part. <laughs> the whole interview was like my subjective, and this is the universal element that ties it all together. Okay, well, I'll confirm. Conform. <laughs> I'm confirm. Confirm. What you just said. Yes. Hi, I'm Ari, and I am represented. Is that right? That was good. That's what I was say? <laughs> Thank you to everybody else being part of the crowd talk. They are not with me. This is real talk, man. How's it going, everybody? Hi. Yes, yes. Oh shit, what's up with the camera right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like That's right, man. <laughs> shit. How y'all doing? Hey, yeah, really good. What y'all doing right now? Is that some MTV joy? What? <laughs> <laughs> MTV. <laughs> we on MTV? Huh? We on MTV? Yo, I came to this shit drunk as fuck, yeah. Y'all better listen. <laughs> hey, tell, tell me, tell me about this event, this representative event. What do you think about boy, it? Yo, my boy Vitaly, watch out. That boy's coming out of the cut, him and Shane. Coming out of cut right yeah, now. Yeah, what you know about this? This man right here is actually performing today. Them boys right now is coming right out of cut with that. Doing. Uh, he's doing some. He's doing some. He's doing some visual. I'm, some visual shit. I'm in charge of what I like to call okay. visual arts. It's uh, like I've never been able to make music, so I take the aspect of putting putting visual aspects to it, like strobe lights, laser lights, making it fun for everybody. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. I feel you. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we had that shit, man. You talking about. That shit. Yo, this Myrtle Beach right here, we represent for real, you know. Hate core. <laughs> Get ready, hate crew. Boy, oh, that's good shit. Excuse us. <laughs> Just a moment. How you doing? Good? Yeah. How you doing? Yes, yo, what up? Yeah, good. Well, so turn out for the show. Are you just, just here to, to watch or are you here to, to add to it or just beside yourselves, of course? Just watch, I guess. Just watch. I, how do you guys feel about this? So it's kind of oh, yeah. nifty. Nifty? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Chef. Yes. Did you hear that? Yeah. Nifty. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're just we're just saying hi to people. Yeah. Do you want to add? You want, to, you want to do any shout outs? Like, yo, I love my mom. <laughs> No, my mom would not support this outing, so, so no, no oh. shouting out to me. 
What are you guys' names? I'm Sarah. Heather. Mercedes. Yep. She's the, the mute one. The silent <laughs> Bob to my J. <laughs> right on. Well, Thanks. thank you. Follow me. We're uh, just going around saying hi to everybody. Um, you guys join the event? Uh, actually, yeah. Have you, have you gone in? Or are you just hanging out outside like cool people? <laughs> yeah, too cool for school. Kind of. No, it would be an ultra cool if we going inside, outside, inside, outside. Oh, oh, the Try whole it changing it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's all roll. Um, right on. You guys uh, feeling good about this? I, I like it a lot, actually. Yeah? Hello? Yeah. Um, I, turned, I, I was surprised. Uh, I thought it was going to be like, just, like one little tiny AV room, just a bunch of stuff crammed in. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Any, uh, any, any input on maybe what you'd like to see in the future? Not really. I think if you just keep going like this, you should be a pretty big success. Yeah. It's a good deal, man. Right. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Um, what, what's your name? Jason. Jason. And, uh, and what is your objective here this evening, besides protecting the sanctity of our parking lot? Uh, keep a good vibe, no violence, enjoy ourselves, and have a good time, that's it. Are you, are you a peaceful individual, you'd say? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Are, you, uh, are you enjoying yourself? I'm always enjoying myself, man. Well, that, that, that's good, man. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, Any, uh, uh, yeah. Anything you'd like to say? No, nothing in particular? Nothing about the event? Nothing. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to hearing Rick and everybody. It's happening. Uh, looking at going on later. I'm actually going to play myself later, too, from 1 to 2, so it's going to be fun. Sweet deal, man. I'm kind of helping out, do um, security right, or whatever um, you want to call it. So. Two guys yeah. I, I feel safe. Not that I don't anyway. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> um. <laughs> Just kind of got stuck in this position. You know how it is. But you're doing a good job, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, ask the million dollar question. <laughs> oh. Do you uh, do you exchange emails with the representative on MySpace? And he was. I have. Do you know who that person is? I do not. I think I think it's a. It's a collection. Where'd he go? Or a collective? The guy right there, right there next to the guy in the, the guy in the black shirt. I'm gonna look. Right, definitely not. I don't think. Isn't his name Corey? I don't think Corey. I heard Corey. That's, <laughs> that's the best we got so far. Is it's a dude named Corey? This dude doesn't I think know. it's a collective. I think I might not know. Maybe it's more than one person answering emails. I think it's it's a world of whatnot that I'm not I quite think it's sure. About. Multiple people have this password and go in there and put stuff on. Like a collective. It's not one person. You see, because because I got an email from. See, that's uh, how they fuck with you because you'd be thinking from, who it uh, is. DJ <laughs> or whatever. And he uh, and he sent me an email, and then I got a remarkably similar 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 yeah. email me too, me too. from the represented site and I was like well maybe they're trying to oh should they park over there I, I don't know but hey Corey that's what we got for right now I'm trying to find this out tonight this, this dude has decided to... hey man hey man excuse me a minute what's your name brother Mr. Seal just before we saw you man you're tight appreciate you man appreciate yeah, you yeah, man. just trying to represent the culture out here you know what I'm saying I Feel mad arts, so doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Is there, uh, is there any sort of message you're trying to get out specifically in your music, or? I'm just trying to keep it positive. You know what I mean? Um, me myself, I personally came from the typical drug dealer background. You know what I'm saying? Find God and change my life. So I'm trying to promote music that shows that change in between. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the important piece. People change for better lives. So that's what I'm doing. Peace is easier than. Uh, it's a lot easier, right? man. Four yeah. kills, you know what I'm saying? All right, man. Peace. What's up? That's easy, man. Yeah. Dude, they're making a ghost bus say that. with all the original cast. That'd be now. Are you serious? Yeah, they're making a fourth. Are they in oh, fucking fuck wheelchairs? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. The, one, the one guy, the one guy, definitely is a wheelchair. The guy that was in Orange County, also. I forget his name. I, Jack I forget Black. his real name. 
No, the guy is Bill Murray. Kind of real. Um, Bill Murray. <laughs> Bill Murray is definitely not in the wheelchair. Dude, dude, no, no. Bill Murray. Uh, I have to give it. This and Dennis Leary was in there. Yeah. Dennis Leary was you in there. You can't mess with that movie, man. I mean, you cannot. That movie was absolutely it was amazing. Small, Come on now. Disney's one of Disney's oh, greatest hits. Yeah. Besides the Incredibles. Besides the Incredibles. Incredibles is good. That way, also. Hello. Lion King and Aladdin. You know why? Aladdin was cool. Anytime you play, anytime you play Aladdin or Lion King, you're guaranteed to get at least a make out sesh and more. Yeah. You're guaranteed. Anytime you play that man. I'm not already asking you this man. What's your name? Chuck. Chuck? Yeah, I I met you before. Are you, so are you, you from here? No, huh? I'm from I'm from Pittsburgh. Are, are, do you live here? Yeah, I, li I, got, I got a school here. I go to Tulsa. My, my boy right here, Nate Slam, is, he's in a, he's doing a, it's hard to hear. We don't know. So, we know what's going on. Yeah, I know you are. Is that, is that what brought you out this evening, was, was Nate? Yeah. I would say Nate's definitely doing his job of representing. Oh, he's, he's sick. You? He knows, he knows his shit. He's, he's fucking amazing at, like, what he does. I wish he could do, like, spray paint and stuff. He's, he's sick of that, so. Okay. He's ill and just you know, eating stuff like that. So, uh, he's a good dude. So, yeah, do a way. Do you, uh, let's, let's, do you look let's forward to future events? Go back Absolutely. about a mile yeah, and you're going to go on actual 17. And then you're going to go, go past everything, Absolutely. basically. Absolutely. Go past like Sam's Club. You're on 21st Avenue. Oh, you talk to you off camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Look at that douchebag. <laughs> Look at that douchebag. Yeah, Which one? <laughs> yeah, this is a douchebag. Here, get it, get it on camera. Douchebag. <laughs> douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Come here. Douchebag. This is douchebag. What's your, what's your, what's your name, man? <laughs> Nick. Nick. Yeah, what's going on? Lucian. Lucian, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Good, man. Just came up to see my boys. Oh, okay. Let's see what's up here. Yeah? Yeah, a little be wild. Right on. Right on. Are you, uh, are you, are you just here to, to watch you? Bring anything to the... Nah, I didn't bring anything to the table. Just came up here to support. Right on. Right on. Get, get a buzz. It's probably good. Bye, man. Hey, question to you, though. Sure. Red Sox fan? Yeah. Die Hard? How about you, Glissus? Yeah, I'm killing him. Oh, come on, you, you I, said no, 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 come on. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I like I like watching Red Sox, but I also like working. Yeah, but at and, the same and when time, they start can, games at 7 o'clock at night, can, I don't get home until 8. You won't be born long. This is the end of the top of the door. Because we can born it. There is no home. There is no song for one wrong. My man, how it falls. I want to look into the same. The sky is the same thing. The earth is stars. You know what I'm saying? The earth is the law that I learned from. My God, born above, above. You know what this is? Coming over the top. Look at the northern box when I'm kicking it. No cops coming in here. since he won't say it. But we'll just leave it at Steven. <laughs> that works. Uh, I'm Icarus with Plus Minus Productions. Yes. And uh, there goes the some pie. more. Yes, they are. That, uh, we got a...
completely, number for number, final letter, everything. Yep. Do they match? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's a trick I've been working on for a while. Um, it's pretty, pretty nuts, pretty intense here. Yeah, we'll make it a bit later. Uh, I do work with a lot of animals. I also have a big stage show. The stuff we see now is not the stuff I plan on bringing tonight. I plan on doing an upside down straight jacket escape on fire. The venue doesn't permit it. I also uh, was also going to be able to vanish, uh, not vanish, but uh, levitate somebody in the air, and then when I rip the the curtain that they're laying on. They just materialize and they go to the back of the audience. Again, the venue doesn't permit it, but I will be uh, opening up for Seether July 11th at the House of Blues, uh, doing some wicked, wicked big stage magic. And then I'll also be uh, uh, around the Grand Strand at different times. Friday nights at the Clubhouse. Woo! Uh, tonight. Right. Yeah, yeah, just doing some close-up magic and stuff. Uh, Saturday at Melons and throughout the week, possibly at the new Freestyle Music Park. So you guys can definitely, uh, if you head up my, you know, my, my website or something, I got a bunch of free comp tickets. Definitely pick you guys up. All right, this next effect, I'm gonna open up. Can we, uh, can we get the light to where we, yeah, just. Here, set it up. Light, set it up on the computer so, so people can actually oh. see what's going on up here. No, the other way. Which is to the benefit of the magician because if there's one out of place, obviously he would know what card it was. So what I'm going to have you do real quick is actually shuffle that deck as many times as you like. Fancy shuffle it, cut it, play 52 card, pick it up, whatever you want to do. Yes. <laughs> Keep shuffling where you're completely satisfied with it. Satisfied. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit why he's shuffling. Um, I was nine years old when I started magic, when I started performing. Um, it's like a lifelong dream, and you know, dreams do come true. Um, so you uh, you gotta you gotta first believe in yourself and never give up. And that's the thing I've been doing, you know, is just never giving up on yourself and uh, staying humble and being cool to everybody, man. Never act like you're too good or whatever, you know. I got to rub shoulders with Tommy Lee and those guys, and they're just total tools. You know what? Stay true to yourself, you know. That's the most important thing at the end of the day. Now I'm going to fancy cut for you. You ready for this? All right, well, you, know, you ain't got to do that, though. That's, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, would you come up here for a second? You're going to help me out. Yeah, there's nobody behind you. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you're gonna help me out with this trick. This is uh, this is actually one that you can stand back in the light so everybody can see. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Uh, what I'm gonna have you do, okay, is put your finger in anywhere in this deck, anywhere. Okay. When you're satisfied, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the instructions. Put your finger in anywhere. Now you know about where that is. If you think that's a forced pick, would you like to switch it? You sure? Okay, take your finger out. Smell your finger. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you take the card, and that's not a forced pick or nothing. As you can see, there's no duplicates either. This is a regular deck of cards. Now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you take that card, put it anywhere in the deck, and shuffle the deck up as many times as you like. Now most, did you guys all see what our card was? Yeah. No. You want to show them one more time? Okay, got it, got it. Put the card back in the deck, anywhere, and shuffle it. I can't shuffle it. I'll shuffle it. Scatter mix, it doesn't even matter. Now at this point, this is the honest truth. I have no idea what your card is. And I'm not gonna find it using bogus sleight of hand. That'll come later, I'm gonna show you guys some crazy sleight of hand later. But right now, we're gonna try to find this card, and I'm the only <laughs> Salute. All right, here we go. We can get more people later. Um, damn, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Look me in the eye. Just think about your card. Um, watch this. How cool is this? Isn't that awesome? That's not your card. I didn't say it was. That'd be funny though if it was. Though. Um, actually, you know what? Point to anybody in the audience. Anybody. Absolutely anyone. Check your pocket, dude. I'm just kidding. If I could do that, I'd be like, I'm Las Vegas right now. Like, I'll tell you what, though. Watch. No, no, no. I, I got something better for you, though. All right. Watch. You ready?